Hi, my name is Elizabeth Pena, and I'm the director of the Center for the Arts and Religion in the Doug Adams Gallery at the GTU. This exhibition was guest curated by Ala Efimova, and it features the work of two artists, Ed Arlerick Sugai and Mark Mitchell, both of whom were affected by HIV AIDS and whose work reflects related themes. So let's take a look. I'm Ala Efimova. I'm the guest curator of Afterlife. A year ago, when I started planning the exhibition, I could not imagine how poignant its theme would be now at the time when we're living through the coronavirus pandemic. Mark Mitchell and Ed Ulrich Shugai, the two artists in this exhibition, lived through another pandemic. They lived through the HIV AIDS crisis. One of them, Ed Ulrich Shugai unfortunately passed away from AIDS-related complications. In both cases, the uh, artist's work was profoundly changed by the radical acts of love. Mark Mitchell survived the AIDS epidemic. He uh, chose to express his gratitude by a radical, unusual gesture a dressmaker and a costumer by trade. In 2013, he created a series of burial garments that were meant for the ones he held dear to his heart. They were exquisite, multi-layered burial garments that were made for each individual and his friends modeled this ensembles at performance at the opening of the exhibition at the Fry Art Museum in 2013. Made of beautiful silks and other fine materials, the detail is exquisite. For example, in the sleeves of this jacket, Mitchell has stitched these beautiful birds. In this exhibition, we're showing these garments to kind of the separate elements so that you could see the way that they're constructed as burial garments. So for instance, the gowns have openings in the back as if to dress a body. The booties, the footwear, has embroidery on the soles and some of the garments, jackets, only have sleeves and they don't really close in the back at all. We have displayed these works floating from the ceiling, showcasing their ethereal quality. With each element, each gown, each tunic, Mitchell's care and tenderness for his friends comes through. He reminds us of the importance of recognizing, thanking, and honoring our friends and family while we are still together on Earth. Ed Ulrich Shugai was an Asian American artist who uh, spent most of his adult life in San Francisco. He left many series of works on paper and on canvas, as well as journals. These bodies of work, especially those that were written and painted in the last seven years of his life, uh, constitute a very unique chronicle of living with AIDS and HIV. A series of works called Figures in this exhibition was painted at the end of his life when his body was becoming more and more fragile. He invited models into his studio and painted this sort of nude, uh, admiring their sort of vitality, their healthy bodies, as if he was living through them vicariously. Some of the paintings, like this one, represent grief. And you see that these floating figures with downcast expressions and clasped hands. In these works, Ed is mourning friends who died. And this is at a time when people were dying from HIV AIDS at astronomical rates. The paintings that resulted really show these bodies are almost uh, translucent, semi-transparent, suspended, sort of ascending maybe suspended between life and death. Other works, like this one, are more hopeful. Uh, Aurelik Sugai was suffering, so he painted the luminous, upward-floating, healthy bodies, wishing and willing himself toward health. Ed Ulrich's uh, former partners, those who helped him um, at the end of his life, 
the ones who loved him and held him, made a promise they would share his work with the rest of the world. And 25 years since his passing, they've come together to honor his life and his work and his legacy. The art and afterlife connects us past and present. It expresses our fear and our worry, and it offers some solace and light. I encourage you to take some time to visit the exhibition, for now online only, and find out why we turn to art when, to quote Wordsworth, the world is too much with us.